have you talked to Juliana since announcing your comeback? Because I know you guys are friends, but Juliana now wanting to get a shot with Amanda, I'm assuming you guys would never fight unless it was for a belt. Is that something you guys have discussed at all? Yeah, it is something we've discussed. And that's always kind of been the, the uh, you know, the idea behind it is like we would never fight unless it was for a belt. But things get a little bit more sticky here because um, so her head coach, Rick Little, now is going to be my coach as well, which he never was. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So he'll now be my head MMA coach too, who's also Michael Kies's MMA coach. Um, and the reason being, obviously, you know, I've lost Fallis, separated with my ex. You know, those were people who were very instrumental, a long part, the, the, and the last person standing that's been a part of my career for a long, long, long time was actually present at my very first amateur fight is Rick. So he knows me, he knows my style. Um, and we work really well together. So I don't know how that will muddy the waters as far as, uh, you know, if we would ever even realistically be able to fight each other, even if it was for a title. I don't know. But I just figure we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You know, there's a lot that has to happen before we even, you know. Let's kick it off, Jack. Cross to the beat, beat you, MMA. He is the main course of the feast. Lynch on sports, the force. He's got his ears to the streets. I'm cutting with knowledge, shaking the brain with breakdowns of the game with that original flow. Head kicks with the pros, picks up the fights or anything in the mix.